from secret aliens to hidden faces and even a totally bizarre butt song from the Garden of Earthly Delights, here are 11 of the strangest secrets found in art. Number 11. The Secret Proverbs 450 years ago, the Dutch genius Peter Bruegel the Elder painted Dutch proverbs. Inside the painting, there are over 100 Dutch proverbs represented. These proverbs are detailed fantastically, and believe it or not, many of them are still relevant in today's society. They've been relevant since 1559. For example, you can see inside the photograph proverbs such as, birds of a feather flock together, and when the cat's away, the mice will play. There are stranger, more obscure proverbs that might not make quite as much sense today. For example, you can see a farmer running around with fire shooting out of his butt, which probably means something like, move as if your butt is on fire. There's another image that shows one man shearing a pig and the other man shearing a sheep, and who knows what that could have possibly meant. Do you have any ideas? One of the most fascinating proverbs is definitely the image of two faces beneath a hood, which means two fools under one hood. A good translation of this is, stupidity loves company. Number 10. Da Vinci's Aliens When it comes to art, Leonardo da Vinci will forever be one of the most inspirational artists that ever lived. And yet some people say that da Vinci's work may have been influenced by extraterrestrials. This comes from the fact that when you place some of Leonardo's artwork in front of a mirror, the image changes and appears to show some kind of strange alien life form. This can be done with many pieces of artwork, including the Mona Lisa and the Virgin of the Rocks. The mirror turns many ordinary faces into those of extraordinary aliens. There are others who say and truly believe da Vinci even got the inspiration for his inventions from otherworldly beings. He also had an interesting habit of leaving hidden messages in most of his masterpieces. Because Leonardo da Vinci was the first person to draw blueprints for things like military tanks and helicopters, some say that he was influenced by a possible glimpse into the future given to him by visitors from another planet. But of course, there's no way to prove if any of that is really true or not. Number 9. The UFO the Madonna with St. Giovannino is a painting from the 15th century that many believe contains an unidentified flying object. This painting was crafted by Domenico Ghirlando and appears to depict an alien UFO in the top corner. While the main part of the painting clearly shows the Madonna with the infant Jesus, it's the background that's truly mysterious and exciting. Off to the side of the Madonna's head, you can clearly see a strange floating object in the sky. Below the floating object is what appears to be a sheep herder shielding his eyes against the sun as he gazes up at the curious flying orb. Many people have suggested that the painting could be one of the first depictions of alien visitors to our planet. It could mean that aliens have been visiting Earth for a very long time and that people have known about them for centuries. But rather than speaking about aliens and being persecuted for heresy, artists chose to hide their ideas inside of their paintings. This is the most prime example of that. There's really no other explanation for a hovering spacecraft in the painting. It's not an animal. It's not a star. It very clearly looks like a metallic UFO. Do you agree? Is it clearly an alien spaceship? Or could it be something else? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 8. The Butt Song from Hell The Garden of Earthly Delights was painted by Hieronymus Bosch sometime between 1490 and 1510. The painting shows a hallucinatory landscape with a lot going on, including a man stuck inside of a drum that's being used by a demon a man flying on the back of a bird-lion hybrid, and a man with musical notes tattooed on his backside. It's been the source of much controversy and speculation ever since it was made. But the most fascinating part of the painting is definitely what experts have dubbed the butt song from hell. It actually took 500 years for someone to translate the sheet music tattooed on the guy's butt in the painting, and the result is nothing short of horrifying. A woman named Amelia translated the notes and made a recording, and it sounds like a creepy soundtrack from a horror movie. Oddly enough, it fits the bizarre surrealism of the painting and its grotesqueries perfectly. Number 7. The Faces of David The famous statue of Michelangelo's David has more faces than people realize. David is almost always shown from below, meaning that the look on his face is cool, calm, and collected. He looks absolutely ready to square off against the giant Goliath. The statue of David has been sitting in the exact same place since 1873, meaning that no one's gotten an actual photograph facing David front on the way he was meant to be seen when he was crafted by Michelangelo. The facial expression when looking directly at David is quite different. Thanks to a project from Stanford University, we recently saw for the first time the look on David's face when staring him straight in the eye. From this way, David appears to be afraid, tense, and aggressively determined. It's significantly different from the cool, easygoing expression he has when seeing him from below. And the straight-on expression makes a lot more sense for a young man about to battle a giant. You can see David's nostrils are flared, his muscles are tightened, 
and he has the look of a young man about to go up against an enemy much larger than he. The true face shows that he actually is unsure whether he'll live another day. Number 6. Hans Holbein's Skull Illusion In 1533, Hans Holbein made a painting known as The Ambassadors. When you're just looking at the painting, there doesn't really seem to be anything out of the ordinary as it's just two men standing in a room. But as was discovered later on, there's a bit more going on here than you think. Because at the bottom of the painting, there's a spot that looks like a splotch of paint ruining the shot. But if you look very closely, you'll notice that it looks like something very familiar. And your instinct would be right because that splotch is actually a distorted skull. It's not exactly clear what the method was that Hans used to paint the skull, but it would have been quite an accomplishment in those times. Which brings up the other question, why did he try and hide a skull in the painting? To get that answer, we have to look at the man on the left side of the painting, Jean de Danteville. Apparently, he was a very morbid man. One of his personal mottos was Memento Mori, which translates to, remember, thou shalt die. The intent here is that the skull with its elongated shape wouldn't mean much when you see the painting straight on. But when you'd hang it on the wall next to a door and you entered the room, your eyes would immediately go to the skull, in its correct proportion due to how you were viewing it, and remind you that death was always waiting for you. Number 5. The Old Guitarist the old guitarist was painted by Pablo Picasso in 1903. The painting shows an old man in blue lazily strumming a guitar. The painting was made after one of Picasso's close friends lost their life during a rather melancholy time in the artist's work. During this time, Picasso painted many rather miserable canvases, including poor and ill people and the outcasts of society. The bent and possibly blind man holding the guitar is arguably the most iconic painting of what is today known as Picasso's Blue Period. However, recent X-ray imaging done to the painting by the Art Institute of Chicago revealed a hidden woman's head right where the guitarist has his neck bent. Nobody knows who this woman was meant to be or why she was hidden underneath the final image of the guitarist. She may have been an idea that never blossomed, a potential masterpiece that we never got to see, eventually covered by what would become one of the most famous Picasso works. Number 4. Secret Jesus Researchers have just discovered an anomaly inside of one of Leonardo da Vinci's most famous artworks. And no, it's not aliens this time. Using high-tech scanners, the hidden image of the baby Jesus was just found underneath the painting Virgin of the Rocks. This is following a previous discovery the year before in which researchers used infrared light to find a different, unused sketch of the Virgin Mary in the upper part of the painting. Professor Pierre Luigi Dragotti from the Imperial College London says it was like looking for a needle in a haystack. Finding ancient sketches that have been erased and covered over is almost impossible. Yet, with macro X-ray fluorescence activating old chemical elements inside the paint, they detected traces of zinc, probably used to produce the original sketches. They were then able to use the zinc to trace and reveal the image of an angel holding the baby Jesus. Unfortunately, we'll probably never know why da Vinci painted over his original sketch. Number 3. The Pregnant Lisa Researchers studying complex three-dimensional images of the famous Mona Lisa painting have decided that she was likely pregnant or had recently given birth when she sat down to model for Leonardo da Vinci in the 16th century. According to the report from NBC News, scans revealed evidence of a gauzy veil around the woman's shoulders. Researchers believe this was a garment known as a garnello, strictly worn by women during the Italian Renaissance when they were expecting to have a baby. But over the centuries, the garment has faded from the painting. The piece of dark fabric over Mona Lisa's shoulders has been interpreted in modern times as nothing more than a scarf. If the Mona Lisa had really been pregnant, it wouldn't be a huge surprise. She also has her hands covering her stomach, suggesting she was far along in her pregnancy at the time. The real Mona Lisa, believed to be Lisa Gherardini, the wife of a Florentine merchant, may very well have been pregnant. Though probably not by da Vinci himself, as historians are fairly certain that he wasn't into ladies. Number 2. The Hidden Brain the great Michelangelo, who lived between 1475 and 1564, was a master of anatomy and an artistic genius. What a lot of people don't know about Michelangelo is that he dissected cadavers to help him better understand the human form so that he could paint more realistic humans. When Michelangelo painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel from between 1508 to 1512, he reached the pinnacle of Renaissance art. It was in 1511 when Michelangelo began painting the final four frescoes along the apex of the vault in the Sistine Chapel. These were scenes from the Book of Genesis. Two of the most famous of these smaller paintings are the creation of Adam and the separation of light from darkness. These images represent the beginning of creation and the beginning of mankind. But to enhance the meaning beyond the religious, experts agree that while painting the creation of Adam, Michelangelo painted the shroud which surrounds God in the shape of a human brain, suggesting that God endowed Adam with life and human knowledge. Then there's the separation of light from darkness, in which Michelangelo concealed a human spinal cord and brainstem, with the cord running up the front of God's chest and the brainstem being lumped in his throat. 
Number 1. Horticultural Secrets Primavera, painted by Sandro Botticelli sometime around 1481, was one of the first major artworks in Renaissance Europe that didn't show some kind of Christian story. Botticelli replaced Easter with a seemingly pagan ritual. Primavera is nature in motion and a horticulturalist's dreamscape. Modern botanists have recognized at least 200 distinct plants inside the painting. That's a pretty remarkable achievement for an artist from the 1400s. Botticelli secreted hundreds of plants in his paintings and even included some famous figures like Cupid, Zephyrus, the spirit of the wind, Venus, the goddess of love, standing proud in the very center, and three graces dancing. If you think of yourself as something of a plant expert, look up an image of Primavera and see just how many of the unique plants you can see hidden in the trees and in the grass. Thanks so much for watching. What's your favorite art secret? Have you seen any of these masterpieces in person? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and come back soon for another awesome video right here on American Eye.